Welcome to the Nerd Party. Hello, I'm Charlene Schmidt. I'm Patrick Schmidt. We just got done watching Babylon Squared, episode 20 of the first season of Babylon 5. It is now time to babble about it. There's a whole lot of things happening in this episode, so I think we should talk about the most important thing right off the top. Fasten zip or zip and fasten? Oh, fasten zip. Absolutely. Absolutely fasten zip. Yes, yes. Let us know in the comments whether you are a fasten zip kind of person or a zip and fasten. Please, let's talk about Babylon 4. The biggest mystery of the last decade. Why did Babylon 4 just suddenly disappear after it went online? Well, we know a little bit more now. This is a wholly unsatisfying uh, what? dip into Babylon history. Yes, absolutely unsatisfying. Yep. What? Explain yourself, I'm not this, understanding. The only setup to this was one throwaway line in one episode of what, what happened to the other Babylon stations. And now all of a sudden, here's everything you need to know, and it's too much, oh, too fast. Yeah, now wait a minute. Okay, couple of things. <laughs> First off, we do not know everything there is to know about okay. Babylon 4. No, okay. you can't do that in one episode. Also, no. they clearly laid out potential that there might be another instance where Babylon 4 comes back. So what if this isn't it? Oh, I don't think it's it. You see Sinclair as like a 80 year old man wandering through as the one. We'd better get payoff on that setup. <laughs> do you think they would have put it into the episode if it didn't serve a purpose? Well, no, they wouldn't have. They opened up this can of worms and now we're not going to deal with it? Yeah, well, they dealt with it. It's gone. Hey, maybe it'll show up in the future. We'll see. That is just really frustrating right now. If and when there's a return, when that's going to happen, I mean, it could be any time. We've got five years. Mm -hmm. This would have been much better over three episodes or four episodes as opposed to one. You want the continuity. Yeah, I wanted to be able to dive, like, like really dive into this story a little bit more than we, what we could get in, you know, 42 minutes. So you were ready, but then they cut you off and now you're pissed. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Let's talk a little bit about this creature named Zathras. What do you think of this dude? He's just a hairy veer. Comic relief. <laughs> hairy veer! <laughs> And I think there's more to it than that. It's obvious that he and Sinclair have a history or a future. I don't know which. <laughs> it's something's going on yeah. because somebody's the one and then somebody's not the one. And yes. we don't know what's going on yet. He served a purpose. And I think maybe in 30 years he serves another purpose. <laughs> But but I don't know where he's going from here. One of the things that pisses me off about Babylon 5 is I can never tell when somebody's a one-off and when they're actually mm. going to come back. And <laughs> it's one of those deals where it's like, oh, remember this character who had two minutes a while back? Well, now here's a whole episode where they're a central figure. <laughs> and it's like, damn it. <laughs> and I think they're kind of trolling you on purpose. If they do a three or four episode arc with him, then I might have some opinions. But for now, he's just a one-off. Fair enough. Any guesses as to who the one is? Sinclair, duh. I mean, he okay. literally took his helmet off and there he was. And okay. Then, and then there was a red arm there at the end of the episode. Yeah, who do you suppose that, that was? That was obviously. Okay, so there's something to that, yes. Yeah, like we didn't know that there was some sort of thing happening there in the future. There's yeah. a lot of strange things with Sinclair, Delenn, the Minbari in general that we do not know yet. And yep. speaking of Delenn, let's talk about what she did in this episode. She gets summoned to the Great Council. They want to make her their leader. And she says, nope, I want to stay on Babylon 5 and interact with humans. No, she wants to stay close to Sinclair. You think that's it? That's it. So I remember the episode with the Great Council and Sinclair and memory uh -huh. wiping and stuff. She wants to be around him to control him for whatever her plans are. Oh, so you suppose she's <laughs> guiding him in some fashion to something? Yes. Yeah. All she's right, all right. leading him to something uh, that may or may not be good for Earth or may or may not be good for humans. Well, we don't know because the Minbari, I mean, we did have a war with them. Can't trust her. <laughs> you still hate her, don't Can't you? Can't trust her, nope. Can't trust her. It's not like she denied this role for noble purposes. She denied this role to continue to be a manipulator on Sinclair. Ooh. Okay, what about at the very end? She gets this thing called a triluminary. What the hell is that? 
I don't know and right now I don't care. It's like another one-off character, I'll just keep it in the back <laughs> of my brain and when it comes time for it to mean something, then it'll mean something. Right now it means sh Okay, and at this point you've got a lot of things tucked away in the back of your brain, yeah? Yep. and they better all pay off, Straczynski, or I'm gonna find you. This is on you. <laughs> I hope someday he watches this. <laughs> Well, I think that does it for Babylon Squared. And if you have thoughts about Babylon 4 or Babylon's 1, 2, and 3, or 5, let us know in the comments. Let's have a discussion, especially for our noobs. Please be spoiler free only mm -hmm. up to this episode. Let's discuss that and not anything after. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications of when a new episode is released. That way you are up to date with us. We release every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, we look forward to seeing you.